Aaron is staying at a hotel that charges $99.95 per night, plus tax for a room. A tax of 8% is applied to the room rate, and an additional one-time untaxed fee of $5 is charged by the hotel. Which of the following represents Aaron's total charge in dollars for staying X nights? This type of question is basically, again, translating a real-life scenario into, in this case, an expression. So let's figure out what we've got here. So it's $99.95 per night, and Aaron's going to be staying for X night. So right off the bat, we can say that his fee, the variable fee for staying for X nights is going to be $99.95 times X. Then there's going to be an 8% tax applied to that room rate. So how do we represent that? Well, the easiest way to represent that is you take your percent, which is 8. You make it to a decimal. So this becomes 0.08. And then you add that to 1. And you take this and you multiply it by your thing you're increasing by 8%. And that will increase it by 8% for you. So a, a useful trick. Definitely want to know that. So when we add or when we apply the tax, it's going to be 1.08 times 99.95x. Now, there's also a one-time untaxed fee of $5. So this is very important. We are not going to be multiplying the 5 by 1.08 because it's untaxed, and we're not going to multiply the 5 by x because it's a one-time fee. It doesn't matter how many nights you stay. So we're just going to go ahead and add 5 to the end of this because it's a $5 fee just tacked on at the end. So which of our choices matches? And the choice that matches is choice B. This question is absolutely one you could see on the current SAT. Um, pretty standard. Also standard in the sense that it tests not double counting, or at least in this case, not um, uh, knowing the difference between a fixed fee and a variable fee. We'll leave it at that, right? So knowing that, okay, there's this fixed fee that's not dependent on how many nights you stay. It's not affected by a tax. That's one separate thing. And then you've got this variable fee, which is also taxed and dependent on the number of days that you're staying. And if you look at the choices, a number of them make those mistakes. So you can see for um, well, A is just kind of a mess because you're not multiplying the 99.5 by X. C you're multiplying the 5 by the tax. That doesn't work. And in D, you're multiplying the 5 by the tax and the X, and that doesn't work. So pretty reasonable question. Knowing this percent trick is really important, so make sure you understand how to do percent increase or decrease by using this little trick of adding the percent, uh, at least in the case of percent increase. Uh, in the case of percent decrease, you would subtract 0.08 from 1 rather than adding it. But that's a topic for a different video. So reasonable question. Not that bad. I think most students can handle it if you know how to tackle this, these particular types of uh, topics.